What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Theology Matters. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about four theology books that I think you and your theology nerd friend should read for Valentine's Day. These books explore different types of love. Some explore romantic love and marriage, while others explore God's providence in light of God's love. Either way, maybe you'll find the perfect gift for your friend or loved one. Let's get growing! The first book I want to recommend on our list is The Uncontrolling Love of God, An Open and Relational Account of Providence by Thomas Ord. In this book, Dr. Ord takes us on a quest to explore what a doctrine of God might look like if we actually took seriously biblical claims of God's love. He starts with the idea that love is an essential nature of God's character, and he ends up with a picture of God that looks very different than what a lot of classical understandings of God look like. In this book, Dr. Ord does an incredible job of making his understanding of providence relevant. He uses real life examples of the problem of evil, and he uses analogies and really key points, making it accessible and easy to understand for pretty much any audience. I recommend this book for anyone interested in understanding God's love in light of evil in the world. It's great stuff. And next up on our list is Radical Love, An Introduction to Queer Theology by Patrick Chang. Patrick Chang's book Radical Love is important in many different ways. In it, he uses the term radical love to describe God's nature and to describe God's relationship to creation. He talks about how this radical love breaks boundaries and crosses borders and disrupts categories that we might try to fit someone in. And out of this, he develops clear parallels between this radical love that disrupts socially constructed categories and queerness, which often challenges and disrupts societal understandings of sexuality and gender. This book is an important contribution to the field of theology, and I think it's a must read for anyone interested in studying the nature of love and how that can lead to some incredibly subversive and disruptive understandings of how we're to live our lives. I recommend this one to any of my listeners out there who may be struggling to love their queer friends or community members. I also recommend this to the queer folks out there who are just struggling to find their place in their faith journey. I think this is an incredibly important book and a great place to start. And let's be honest, when you're talking about love and theology, you can't not talk about Rob Bell. The third recommendation on our list is The Zimzum of Love, A New Way of Understanding Marriage by Kristen and Rob Bell. First off, I just want to say that this book is incredibly easy to understand and read. In this book, they take the Hebrew concept of Zimzum, which describes the way in which God contracts or removes God's self in order to provide space for creation. And then they reflect on this concept in a way that allows us to reimagine what marriage might look like. It's incredibly refreshing to read a book that reflects on the topic of marriage from a Christian perspective that leaves behind a lot of the baggage that a lot of contemporary writings on marriage carry with them. I highly recommend this book to anyone who's in a relationship or for anyone who's just interested in understanding marriage from an egalitarian perspective. And last, but certainly not least, I recommend Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s Strength to Love. Strength to Love provides us with some incredible insight from Dr. Martin Luther King on life and death and love and evil and grief and despair and justice. Written during the years of the civil rights struggle, Dr. Martin Luther King compiled some of his most provocative and insightful pieces that sought to answer questions about faith and justice. It's Black History Month and pretty much all of us are going to have Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. quotes on our Facebook feed and our Twitter feed, so why not take the time to learn more about how his understandings of love challenged him to love his enemies or how it led him to be committed to the practice of nonviolent resistance to oppression and how it motivated him to commit his life and work to the work of justice. From his understanding of God's call to love our enemies to his commitment to nonviolence, this book does an incredible job of showing us that love was a central part of Dr. Martin Luther King's theology. I recommend this book to anyone and everyone interested in learning more about how love relates to issues of social justice and social change. So there you have it, four book recommendations on love just in time for Valentine's Day. As always, make sure you check out the links in the description below. I'll have all these books that I recommended down in the description. If you enjoyed this episode, I would appreciate Appreciate it if you like this video and hit the subscribe button in the link below. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Theology Matters.